today, gang, we're going to look at how to replace a toilet seat with one of the new ones, which is a quick release system, which will allow you to take this off to clean. And what's really kind of cool about this is it has the ability to, once you put it all together, it's going to stay tight and it's not going to loosen up like a lot of traditional older toilet seats will. So what this comes with is it comes, of course, with your seat, but it has two different parts. Now, there's two of these in the kit. You've got your little insert that will go in here, and it will snap in there and then this is the locking mechanism once this is turned like so now it's locked in that gives you the ability to open it up and pop the seat off but for this part of it where we're getting it all set up we need to put these two bolts in here I'm just going to do that there now they're locked into place the reason why we have to do this is that we put the put the bolts in like this because we're going to be dropping it through and holding it in place and then we're putting the nut on it. Now this little nut we're looking at right here is actually a half inch, I'm gonna use a half inch socket on it, you can use a wrench or a socket, and then you're going to we're going to be putting this on. And we're going to basically be tightening this until it gets to the point where it snaps off. You can see it's a little bit narrower right there. That will allow us to put the proper amount of torque on it, but not over torquing it or breaking the porcelain the porcelain stool with the toilet. So we're going to get this all going. Now this particular lid is a a no slam one, so it takes some time for it to get down. We're going to get everything put together here. Get the finger tighten it just a little bit to get it going. I'm going to get the other one on. And there's a variety of different toilet tops, toilet lids that have this ability to be quickly removed. It's just in this particular case, we have some younger ones in the house that will drop toilets, and then of course you end up breaking, breaking off these little little uh, pegs and such that are on there, the little stops, the little bumpers, and that's not very cool. So I'm again finger tightening these right now. Let's see. We're actually replacing a few of them in the house today because, well, every every 10 to 15 years, some of these older wooden ones need to be replaced. So we're going to be doing a few of these. And we decided to go with the quick remove, and I'm just going to show you this, even though it's not all done. But it can be taken off. Taken off. Here, got to work a little bit. There we go. And then I locked it again. So we take it off for easy cleaning, and then it would be put back on. But right now, I need to line it up. I finger tighten only. I want to get it lined up so it looks good, that I'm not over on one side or the other. Then, take my little socket. Yeah. Michael, you want to come down here and kind of see what we're doing down here? Just tightening this up. And I'm not going to, I'm getting snug now, but I'm not going to, going to really put pressure on it to break that off yet until I get the other side snug also. So I'm going to do the other side. This is one thing I don't like about my little socket is that if you put any pressure in here, it flips it from one to the other because it is right there as a mechanism. So, but for this application, it's small, it gets into the spots. And I definitely like that. So get on the back, back one here. And we'll tighten that up. And of course, being that we're replacing the pieces on the toilet, I'd highly recommend when you have it all apart that you clean everything up. It's just a lot nicer that way. Okay, so now that one is, is snug. Now, we're going to take this one, get the socket back on it. Well, I'm going to need to go get an extension. We're going to put a pause in the video right here. I've got to get in a little extension because I can't get in there quite far enough. So I'll go grab that and we'll get back to you. So I got the extension. What that will allow me to do is get down below. Just tightening. It'll get down below. You see that there's a lot of different different uh, contours and such here. So that will allow me to get below that. Yeah, get on there so I've got the full nut inside the socket. And there. That's how far, that's how close it was to snapping that one off. So we'll do the same on the other side. And again, that ability to break it off on it under its own, 
under the the uh, torque and such of, of the ratchet allows it to be tightened and it's going to kind of set itself up into the porcelain and it won't allow it to allow it to pop off and have problems later. So we can take it out, we can clean, we can put things back on, we turn the little things to latch, and this is a slow, non-slamming toilet lid here that will go down nice and slow. So if you have little boys who like to go and drop lids, this might be a great option for you. But this is how you replace a toilet seat lid with the new system that they've got out there. Hopefully that helped you. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman.